The subject is building materials and construction and today we are going to talk about constituents of a paint or ingredients of the paint or what makes up a paint. See, there are five components or constituent or ingredient such as base, vehicle, dryer, pigment and solvent. Mixing all the things in a proper proportion makes up a paint and each component has its individual, independent and important role in a paint. Okay, let's see each component one by one. The first one being base. See, base basically forms the bulk or base of a paint. Okay, it forms or it lays the foundation of paint. It is the basic material that makes up the volume or quantity of the paint. Okay, generally base of the paint is formed in format of fine powder. Metallic oxides form mostly base of several paints. The example for base is red and white lead, zinc or iron oxide. Alright, then come to vehicle. The function of vehicle is to keep the paint mass in suspension or it holds the paint ingredient together or it keeps it binded. It is also known as carrier. Okay. Vehicle in the paint is its carrier. Okay. It helps the paint to be spread evenly without any discontinuity in application. Therefore, smooth op application. Okay. The smooth operation of application of paint is governed by the vehicle inside the paint. Okay. Various forms of linseed oil act as vehicle of the paint. Then the third important component is dryer. Dryer accelerates the process of drying of a paint. Okay. When you have painted a surface, then the process of drying is accelerated by this dryer component. What it basically does, it reduces the elasticity of the paint. The example for dryers are finely ground compounds of cobalt or lead makes up dryer. The fourth component is pigment. Okay. If you want pink paint, if you want red paint, if you want black paint, then you have to add the specific respective pigment to that paint body. Okay. What does a pigment do? We use it to obtain the desired color of the paint. Okay. The first thing that comes to mind when we are talking the word paint or when we utter the word paint is its color. Before you distinguish or before you classify whether it is oil paint or whether it is distemper or whether it is varnish the first thing when you say paint is its color that's why the color of the paint is imparted to it by the component pigment okay various oxides lead powders of aluminum bronze copper or zinc makes up the pigment okay increasing and decreasing this constituent the a four set component that is oxide lead powder of aluminum bronze copper zinc increasing or changing the composition we can have shades of the specific paint okay we can have shades of the pigment which is then mixed with the paint in order to receive the desired color then the final component of the paint is solvent we also commonly call solvent the market name of solvent is thinner now what thinner does as the name is suggesting it does nothing but reduction of viscosity in order to make the paint to spread over the surface easily and whatever the tiny pores that are present on the wall which is meant to be painted are covered or they are filled up completely because thinner is present inside the paint okay another function of thinner is it reduces the glossiness of the paint Okay, the gloss action which is given out by the paint is reduced by thinner. The example for thinner is the most common example is turpentine. Then when we are talking about distemper, we can use water and alcohols do also form or act as a good solvent. Okay, or thinner. So that was all about constituents of a paint, which were those base, vehicle, dryer, pigment and solvent. Base forms the body of the paint. Vehicle keeps the paint mass in suspension or keep it binded. Dryer accelerates the process of drying. 
pigment impart the desired color and solvent makes the paint thin or it reduces the viscosity so that was all about constituents of paint till then bye bye